Welcome to the Anthology Training Series. In this video, we will be covering constructing and printing a query from the Anthology program. This will include what is a query? Why should you use a query? How to construct a query in both inventory and customers? And then how to print that query to either paper or file? Let's begin. First, what is a query? A query in the context of Anthology is any set of data that you need to pull from the program. This can be anything from how well items are selling in a particular section to inventory levels store-wide. Querying your database is one of the most powerful tools in Anthology. Why should you use Query? Queries help you pull information out of Anthology that may not otherwise be available in existing reports. One thing Anthology is very good at is reporting. However, sometimes there is information that you would like that differ from the reports available in the program. This is where querying comes in. It allows you to tailor reports that work for your needs and can be customized in almost infinite ways. Let's construct a query. First, we will create a query in inventory. First, open master files, then inventory. Next, we go to Actions, Construct a Query. This form shows you all the criteria you can report on. These items are cumulative, so if you report on too many, you may not get all the results you are looking for. In our example, we are selecting the Book Department with on hand greater than 1. Once we have our criteria, we simply select F12 Run. We'll ask if you want to name and save this query. If you want to keep this as a rep canned report, Go ahead and save it. If it is a one-off type of query, you can select No. Note, to select a created query, use F6 Select Query. Once the query has been ran, you will notice that we are looking at the inventory window once again. Also note at the top of the inventory window, it will show Query Applied with either the name of the query or the criteria. The inventory window will now only show the items which fit the criteria you pulled for. From here you can choose what to do with it. In most cases, you are simply going to print. Let's select F11 to print. Here again we can customize what we want to see. There are a lot of criteria to select from. In this case we are going to select ISBN title, section, and on hand quantity. Below here you can select your sorting. In this case I have set it to by section, then by on hand quantity. Click F11 Print one more time, and again you will be asked if you want to save this print format. If this is going to be a persistent report, select Yes. Otherwise, select No. Note, to select the created report, the created report use F6 to load format. Once you have selected the fields you want to print, print and clicked Print to move to the Print dialog, we can select where we want to print. If you say you need to send this to Excel, you can select Output to, then pick your file type. In this case, Excel, XLS. Click, click the ellipses next to the output field. Now you can select the, a location to save your file. If you are an Anthology Private Cloud user, this process is slightly different. If you are an Anthology Private Cloud customer, click the annotation or the link in the description below to see how to save your files to your local desktop on an APC server. Once you name and save your file, you must click print before the file will be created. And that's it. Constructing a query in customers is functionally identical with a few considerations. A lot of stores use constructing a query to export customers to be sent to their mass emailing system, such as constant contacts or MailChimp. In order to expedite this, we recommend creating a saved query and print types in order to quickly print your email list. This makes it easy to pull information and rapidly upload it on a regular basis. While I did not go over all the details on what each field reports on when creating a query, we recommend that you try it out for yourself and see what works. If you are still struggling with constructing a query, there is more information in the description below. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on how to construct and save queries in Anthology.